Mushoku Tensei is just wrapped up in controversy episode after episode, huh? I mean, in season one, y'all remember, will you have my kittens, Nia? The whole Eris and Rudy scene in the tent. I mean, holy shit, people were fucking upset about that. Two episodes ago, what happened? What? We do a little bit of child trafficking, right? A little bit of human slavery. Sorry, it's a dwarf lolly slave that we got. And now people are so upset. And what happened last episode? We did a little bit of casual racism, you know, a little bit of kidnapping too. Some people are actually saying that was wasn't racist at all because the logic the main argument for why that wasn't racist is because the beast folks must integrate properly into human civilization therefore they had to stop saying Nia and all these different furry cute cat things right therefore it's fine to be prejudiced against them that is the culture here but let me give you a direct one-to-one -one example imagine instead of cat girls right imagine this is a, a foreign exchange student let's say you got a bunch of immigrants from Asia and they're going to high school in a predominantly white city right and then as soon as the Asian kids say broken English and thick accent what does the white kids do they say can't you Asians speak a decent English and I'm saying this specifically because Rudy said can't you beast speak decent human now you can take whatever you want because if you've already made up your mind that that's not racist then it's not racist for you but come on now really come on now I mean it doesn't have to be that deep at the end of the day we're being a little bit prejudiced against the cat and the dog girls it's funny to me because basically the last episode was bad cat bad dog and they kind of call us boss now, so it's kind of cute. Now, what are we going to do this episode? I hope this episode also pops off to the point where the author has to come out and formally <laughs> issue a fucking Twitter saying, tweet saying, I'm sorry, guys, it's actually not like that, but let's begin today's reaction. Mm, Cliff, we haven't really, you know, interacted with him yet. Rudy, what are you doing, bro? Wait, what? Rudy, what are you doing, bro? Cliff's going to be like, shut the fuck up, I can't focus. I mean, kind of true, right? Oh, look, Julie's here too, but... Ignore it! <laughs> I mean, Cliff is not wrong, you know? Technically, was still... Shut the fuck up, nerd! <laughs> he just wants some friends, bro. I know he just wants some friends. Cliff again? Wow, finally, we're getting into Cliff! Because I've been waiting for the Cliff interaction with Rudy later. Uh... Erina Rize, is that you with the windows open? No, Cliff, don't! <laughs> it's over. Oh shit, someone's getting bullied. Is it Cliff? Rudy, go help. Rudy, go help him! Special honor student, Rudy is. Oh, they know the term Quagmire here too, huh? True. True. Is this Cliff or who is it? It is Cliff. What did he do? I feel bad. <laughs> and, and he's such a fucking shithead. It's like, bro, we just saved your not saved your life, but you should be thanking. Cliff is a hard character to really like, huh? I'm not sure about that yet, but cause Eris, bro, cause Eris said that you're so much better than him. What? what you want? You want to eat lunch together? If you just want to be friends, say you want to be friends. Eddie, not easy. The window? She's probably getting fucked right now in front of the window. <laughs> no, 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 she's not. Okay. Uh -huh. Honestly, good taste. I don't think Cliff can handle Eddie, not easy, man. Uh -huh. Yes. No, no, this is facts. No, bro, you don't understand. She will pay you money so that you'll leave her alone after they fuck, you know? His heart's gonna get broken. He, he has no idea how Eddie Narise rolls, man. I mean, if you want to. Yes, fit senpai. <laughs> she was so worried there. It's like, oh, thank fucking God. Notice how whenever she gets so nervous, she starts like playing with her ear. Not the first time. These interactions where Fitz is talking to Rudy, but she's talking about Rudy in front of him. He has no idea. It's so cute. I brought some fresh meat, Eddie Nadia. Hey, look. Look at Cliff. Do you like him? He's your next victim. <laughs> no, you, no, you don't understand. She won't reject you, but like, it's not how the... Oh, God. He's gonna fall in love with her and she's gonna be like, get the fuck away from me. I'm giving you some money. <laughs> oh, I'm Cliff. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh god. Oh, trust me, he knows. He memorized that shit. <laughs> Will you go out with me, please? Maybe as a love letter. Yes, I've studied upon you, Arinade. But if he really does study her, he should know. Oh. Oh? Oh? Yeah, you know what you're getting. Money. Not, not like that. It's a little different. Yeah. This is the last type of client that any of takes in, right? No, because he's gonna get so clingy. Would Cliff accept Irina Rize for who she is? Cliff, you don't understand. I need to fuck 10 different guys a day. Are you down with that, Cliff? I don't think you know what you're getting yourself into, bro, but hey, good luck, my man. Oh, shit. The fuck? Wait, Irina Rize is showing up to the special clap. Wait! But! Okay, fine. A cup. Maybe Cliff is down. Maybe Cliff is down. Even if you, like, I will be with you as, and you can fuck as many other guys as possible. Look at Linia looking disgusted, bro. <laughs> Look at Linia! Really? You could maintain monogamy? Like. Is that possible? How the fuck did he riz her up? What? What? I mean, I'm kind of like Linny at the time, but at the same time, dub Cliff. Like, fuck it. I mean, he did it, right? That's kind of impressive, but I feel like something bad's gonna happen, man. Aww. <laughs> really? Just they're so clingy. I'm public. Eddie and Daisy is definitely in heat, bro. Oh, not these two! No, 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 no! What the fuck, cameraman? Like, that edit was crazy. Dude, there's so many just dragonflies are just fucking like all these different edits. Even the cat couple, the butt. The, oh. Matrimonial. Who are we protect? That's your voice. <laughs> I was like, that's your voice. Okay. Oh. No, 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 not like that! Uh, you don't know about that, bro. I mean, your dick is kind of... It, dick started working as soon as you talked about, you know... Good senpai, but... Ah... Uh, everyone that wants to go to person and Linia are basically have to challenge Rudy. That's fucking annoying! Alright, let's go. And you're done. Man, I want to see the fight. Who's the blue hair girl, though? Who is this? New character! I like her design. Bunch of challengers ready? It's just a fucking lineup. Damn, Linia and Persena really are that popular, huh? We're honorary chief. Tournament full of unwashed men. <laughs> oh? Is it a girl? It's not the blue haired girl, right? Oh, Sophie's gonna get jealous. Mmm. Ah! Fist Senpai, why are you getting upset? Oh, can you read what's going on, Rudy? Come on, pick it up! Huh? What? Oh, shit. The lineup of opponents got demolished by- <gasps> It's him! He showed up finally! He was in the outro scene. There's like a purple Oni looking thing that was drinking. Are they alive? Did he kill them all? Hello? <laughs> oh, shit. He's not actually going for Linia and Persona 2, right? Eye of Foresight. He knows! He knows that a demon not. Fiance! Ooh. Wait, 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 wait! This is crazy! Demon King? Actual? But Fiance is the girl that we saw. Oh, oh my god, this is a big crap. Holy shit, this is an actual duel. Yeah, her name is hard to say. Kirishirika. Her last name is like Kirishirika Kiri something. Yes. I wonder if he has a demon eye too. A marvel? Damn. No, bro, you're the main character of this show. <laughs> Not bit more! Doesn't he have like 50 thousands of times of an average person's or some shit? I don't know. I saw that number from Manny Use's video. Y yes, sir. More marvels than Laplace. Mana quality greater than Demon God Laplace? Yes, and that's why I've been saying the mana disaster is probably partially due to Rudy subconsciously gathering mana while teaching Eris in that town 
Do the people even listening around the circle even understand, like, comprehend the magnitude of the character that Rudy's being compared to? I love how the upper arms is always posed like this. Remember, remember this. That's how Orsta did. You're a, what was it? Apostle of the human god, right? Oh god, here we go. Turning point three? Turning point three? <laughs> What's him be like, I must kill you now? Okay. No turning point yet. Alright, he's a lot more chill about it than Orsted, right? Because Orsted, as soon as he heard that, he was like, alright, I'm gonna kill you now. <laughs> I'm a little bit anxious. I don't know. <laughs> what are we doing? The staff? Here we go. Okay, here we go. The duel. Dude, look at this crowd. Everybody's watching. Oh, shit. I hope the teachers are all watching, too. I mean, bro, he's a demon king. Like, the fact that we're even challenging him is crazy. Okay, body. Please be gentle. Yeah, please just don't kill us. Well, you're the demon king, bro! Like, what do you mean? This is scary! No, Rudy doesn't really understand how much mana he has, right? Even him, like, soloing the dragon, like, should have been crazy, but... Turning point three! Turning point three! Ah... Uh... No, he's still, he's, he's still being courteous, kind of. One blow? Get one blow on me and you win? I mean, sure, hey! Let's use like the nuclear attack kind of web, like the magic spill that we did against Orsted at the end. Where Orsted had to bring out like that worm gate. Could he handle it? Nuke him right now! What kind of power? Is it water magic? Oh, it's the drill again. I thought he might go with the nuke fire, but if he does that, then everyone here might die. I don't know. All we have to do is, like, injure him, right? Yo, it's heating up. It's heating up. Wonder what Sophie's thinking. Like, damn, Rudy. You've grown so much. Rudy's strongest magic? I don't know if it's the strongest, but we're going with it. Did he move? Did it pierce him? Oh! Okay, it lifted him, but... Did it actually penetrate? Nah, I don't expect the Demon King to be dead. That'd be fucking insane, though. <laughs> Everybody's like, what have you done, bro? What the fuck? But is he... Watch him start laughing and get up. He's gonna start laughing and get up. He's different. Wait. He's smaller. Wait, wait, he's smaller and his arms are cut off. What the fuck? What, wait. The more arms, the more arms he has, the bigger he gets. Less arms, smaller he gets. I don't know why. <laughs> Chocha. Rudy is greater at. I like him. The Demon King is a big bro. No! No, 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 no. That was that part of the deal. What do you mean it's your turn? No! <laughs> <laughs> At least he didn't punch her head off. I thought that was it. We hit you once and that's it. No, we're definitely gonna see him again. I want him to be like a returning character. I want him to join our party, bro. Jesus. I don't, I don't know how to feel about that. Is he gonna do it right now? Oh, Jesus Christ. Linia didn't say you could do that. Personally, I always throw Linia under the bus too. Huh? No shot. He's a fucking student now. Watch him show what the student outfit. <laughs> Why? Why did you do it? I love him. I actually love this guy. Everything about him is great. He's such a bro. But he's actually joining the school of Demon King. All right. Yo, I really thought Turning Point 3 was going to happen for a second moment. Like, uh, what about Orsted? Even though Human God T was a little, a little suspicious, but goddamn.
the theme king is just joining the school. This is crazy because I thought the school, like even Eddie and Eddie's joining was like a, an anomaly because, you know, I'm expecting the students to be regular kids, younger kids around Rudy's age that are magically proficient. But we got a straight up a demon king just joining because the school doesn't really give a fuck. The school just cares about really talented and people with a lot of clout joining. So fuck it. Demon king has joined and I hope that we become pretty good friends. I think maybe we'll like drink sake together and then we'll like be like brother in arms or some shit. That'd be really fun. I don't know where we're going with the story, but goddamn, this episode was so fun to watch. No drama though, huh? Sucks for that. Anyways, if you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.